Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in a computer organization or a computer architecture that is program control instructions. Program control instructions. So here the name itself indicates these are the instructions which controls the flow of execution in the program. Right. So in our previous session, we have seen a different types of instruction that is a data manipulation instructions. Right. So let's see uh, similar to that uh, data manipulation instructions, this program control instructions are also classified into different categories. So the first one is uh, compare instruction. Second one, unconditional branching, unconditional branch. And the third one, conditional branch. And the fourth category, subroutines or procedures, we can call uh, subroutines or procedures. Subroutines or procedures, halt instructions, and finally the interrupts. So these are all the different category of uh, program control instructions. Compare un unconditional branch, conditional branch, uh, subroutines, halt instructions, and the interrupt instructions. Now we'll see one by one. Right. So coming to the first one. The compare instruction. Compare instruction. So this compare instruction, the mnemonic, the mnemonic is so I'll write here mnemonic. So which represents the operation in the assembly language and the description here. I'll write the description here. So coming to the compare, the mnemonic is CMP, the capital letter CMP. So which will compare the difference between the two, the content of two different registers. Okay. So it returns the difference between a content of Two registers. So that means it will first compare and it will return the difference. So this is similar to our subtract uh, instruction but the only difference is the result will not be saved anywhere. Okay in the subtract the result will be stored in the accumulator if, if there is only one operand right. So if there is no operand so uh, coming to the compare it returns it compares the content of two registers and it will return the difference among these two registers, the content of two registers. So the mnemonic is CMP. That's a compare instruction. Only one instruction under this category compare CMP. Now coming to the unconditional branch. Unconditional branch. So here the name itself indicates without any condition will change the flow of execution in a program right so it changes the flow of execution in the program without any condition so usually that is represented as jmp so there will be a jump jump instruction jmp so this jump instruction will move the control towards the desired location Okay, without any condition, right? So, the control moves to desired location. Desired location without any condition check. Without any condition check. So, for example, if it is jump thousand immediately whenever the control executes this statement the control will start executing the instruction of this particular address so there is no condition we are writing no condition just by using this one unconditionally 
the control wheels change the flow of execution right now the next one is conditional conditional branch the same thing which is similar to our unconditional branch here also the control will change the flow of execution but with respect to some condition so the first one j e j e means the control control jumps to desired location if a content of both the registers are equal both the registers are equal that means jump if equal this is called as a jump if equal similarly j n e this is jump if not equal if not equal it's the same the control jumps to the desired location if the content of both registers are not equal if equal then it is called as a jet e if it is not equal it is called as a j n e jump if not equal similarly j z jump if zero jump if zero j n z jump if not zero jump if not zero j n o jump if no overflow no overflow of a register right no overflow jump if no overflow similarly i'll write the remaining here jp jump if parity if there is any parity bit then it should jump j n p jump if no parity similarly j p e jump if even parity if the parity is even then it will jump to the desired location similarly j p o jump if odd parity odd parity so these are all the different instructions which will check the condition and will change the position of the execution right so j e n e j z j n z j n o j p j n p j p e and j p o jump all are the jump instructions all we call it as a jump instructions so here we are using some condition so that's why we are calling it as a conditional jumps or conditional branch statements okay so without any condition just by using jump that we call it as a unconditional already we have seen right that is an unconditional jump unconditional branch. Okay, hope you understood this one. Let's move on to the next category: subroutines. 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 So these subroutines are similar to the procedures. Okay, so you might be having a knowledge on C programming or Java or Python. so you will be, you will be learning about the functions concept the same function concept is a subroutine subroutine is also called as a function or a procedure we can treat it as a function or a procedure so here there are two different uh, uh, mnemonics two instructions one is a call call so this instruction will move the control towards the procedure definition okay so 
it moves the control towards procedure definition or desired location desired location see this is just similar to our jump function jump is also same thing it moves the control towards the desired location in jump but here call is also moving the control towards the desired location so what is the difference between jump and call so here this will make use of it will make use of stack use of stack to store the address of current instruction current instruction so whereas jump doesn't save the address of instruction towards the stack but call will may make use of stack in order to store the address whenever we the control executes this call instruction immediately the instruction address will be pushed into the stack right and the next one is ret which is nothing but a return return so whenever the control executes this return statement the address which has been stored in the stack will be popped and the control will move towards that particular address so the address is pop from stack and control moves towards the address so the control immediately moves towards that particular address right so similar to our functions in our c, c or any programming language so if any uh, function call is get executed immediately the location will be stored in the stack and immediately the control will move to the function definition and once the function complete function definition or the procedure is being executed done and by executing the return statement immediately the control will get back the address from the stack and it will start executing the instructions from the function uh, main function right so similarly the call it first it, mo it, it moves the address of the current instruction to the stack and then the control move towards the procedure definition and immediately whenever the return statement is there immediately the address from the stack will be popped out and the control will move towards that particular address right so that we call it as a subroutine instructions call and return and the next one halt instructions halt instructions we are having a two instructions here one is n o p so which is nothing but a no operation no operation so the processor will not do anything right so the, there will be no change in the flow of execution and one more uh, instruction is halt halt so which will the process the process will be in idle state until there is an interrupt until there is an interrupt or reset okay until there is any instruction there is any interrupt or reset the process will be in the idle state if if the control executes this halt instruction halt okay so this is a halt next one interrupt instructions the last category the interrupt instructions in this interrupt instruction the first instruction is a reset reset so here whenever the control executes this reset the all the registers all the registers 
will be reset and initialize it to initialize it with defaults defaults or initial values right so whatever the registers using those registers will be get reset by using this reset instruction and there is a one more instruction called INTR INTR which is nothing but a maskable instruction maskable instruction interrupt this is a maskable interrupt with a low priority and this is also with a low priority this is a low priority interrupt right so these are all called as a program control instructions right so we have seen in today's session the program control instruction so the first one compare instruction and then we have seen unconditional branch instructions conditional branch instructions and then subroutine instructions and then halt instructions and the interrupt instructions okay so ho hope you understood this one so if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much